Hey, it's Sean here with Fraser here to talk about the correct operation of the Fraser S250 Next Generation Stabilized Binoculars. First thing you want to do before using these is adjust the inner pupillary distance. But you can do that by grabbing both eyepieces and rotating in or out until they have the correct distance and you have a single overlapping field of view. Next, adjust the focus one eye at a time. Close one eye through the other. Just turn this diopter ring until you get a nice clear picture. Switch eyes, do the same with the other side. Now you're ready to turn it on and stabilize it. The power button here is between the eyepieces. So push that, you'll see the green light go steady. Give it about 10 to 15 seconds to spool up the gyro, and then you're ready to actuate it. So with a simple actuation of the thumb lever up, you'll get the stabilization will kick in and you'll get that nice stabilized view that Fraser is world renowned for. Before shutting it down, just go ahead and put it in the locked position, which will lock that mechanical gyro, and then you can press the power button to turn it off. The light will blink for about 10 to 15 seconds while the gyro spins down, and once it's off, you know you're ready to button up the binos and store them uh, before pulling them out for your next adventure.